This is Dr. Phil Chavez. Marcellinus and Peter are two Roman martyrs Catholics have heard several times in the Mass from the Roman canon or the first Eucharistic prayer, but they hardly know them. Now, they suffered persecution under the Diocletian persecution around the year 303 AD. The church bearing their witness is located where I am standing, at the base of the Lateran Hill here in Rome. It's about one mile east of the Colosseum. Marcellinus was a priest. Peter was a lay exorcist. Their witness in the early Christian community was so impactful that after peace was restored to the church, Constantine built a basilica in their honor, and later an entire catacomb was named after them. Upon an edict against Christians, Peter was handed over to the Roman prefect, and he held boldly to the faith. Refusing to sacrifice to the gods, he was beaten with rods till almost dead, and then was cast into prison. After, he set his jailer's daughter, Paulina, free from an evil spirit. Later, his jailer, Artemius, and his wife and, his, and all their house were converted. Now, Peter thereafter brought them to Marcellinus the priest to baptize them. When the prefect heard of it, he called Peter Marcellinus before him and sharply reprimanded them. He made threats of torture unless they deny Christ. Unafraid of death, Marcellinus rebuked him and was beaten harshly. Later, he was shut up naked in a prison, strewn with broken glass. Without food or light, Peter was confined later. The constant witness of both, even while in jail, wielded great inspiration and brought further conversions. The guard over them was held accountable, and he and his family were tried and stoned on the Villa Aurelia. Eventually, both men were brought into a dark forest outside Rome and beheaded. Yet those around them were so moved by Peter's arguments and Marcellinus' calm, the executioner converted, and he gave a full account to Pope Damasus, which is how we know about their final end. Their feast is June 2nd. Marcellinus and Peter and all the Roman martyrs, pray for us. And God be with you.